Hi everyone, welcome to the fourth episode of the Spell Well Genius Olympiad training sessions. I hope you've been practicing what we've done for the last three weeks and are very well versed with everything. So before we begin today's video, I want you to tell me in the comment section below what a baby elephant is called. And once you're done, I want you to pause this video, go back to last week's video and recheck whether you got it right or wrong and tell me that as well. I'm really excited to know how your experience is going and that's why I keep asking you to comment so that I can be a part of your experience. Today's episode is a very important one because we're covering two very essential topics. We're doing days of the week and months of the year. So let's dive right into it. The first day of the week, a day that's so hard because we have to get up early in the morning after two days of fun, is Monday. Monday is spelled as M-O-N-D-A-Y. Mon day. I'll give you a little trick for doing how to for spelling the days of the week. You're going to break the word into two words, two parts. The first is going to be the first is going to be M O N and then it's going to be D A Y. If you learn how to spell day, your work becomes very easy because you can just add day next to all the first words of the days of the week. So, for example, in the word Monday, you have mon and day. So M O N and day remains the same. So now for the next word, which is Tuesday, all you need to do is learn how to spell Tues, which is T U E S D A Y. So the similarity between Monday and Tuesday is that they both have the word day in it. The next word is Wednesday. We will break this word into three parts. Wednesday. Wednesday. You know how to spell day and we'll just know how to do, we'll just learn how to do wed and ness. So wed is spelled as W. E D Ness is spelled as N E S and day you already know it now it's D A Y so Wednesday is spelled as W E D N E S D A Y the next week of next day of the week is Thursday again day at the end. So all you need to know is how to spell thurs. And thurs is spelled as T-H-U-R-S. So Thursday becomes T-H-U-R-S-D-A-Y. Thursday. And the next is my favorite day of the week, Friday. I want you to tell me in the comment section what your favorite day of the week is. Friday is again very sp simple to spell. You know how to spell day and all you have to do is spell fry. Fry is spelled as F-R-I. So Friday becomes F-R-I-D-A-Y. The next is Saturday. Now, this is, again, we'll break this word into three parts. Sat, er, and day. You know how to spell day. And I'm hoping you know how to spell sat and er. But we'll go through, again, go through it again. Sat is spelled as S-A-T. Er is U-R. And day is D-A-Y. So, Saturday becomes s a t u R D A Y Saturday. The last day of the week is Sunday. And we know how to spell sun and we know how to spell day. So the spelling of Sunday becomes S U N D A Y Sunday. Now let's start with months of the year. 
the first month of the year is January. Now again, we'll figure out a quick hack to do a few of the spellings for the months. So for January and February, your hack is that the last four words of January and February are the same. Last four letters of these two words are the same. So the spelling of January is Jan and Uri. So you spell January as J A N U A R Y. January. Now with February, the last four letters of this word also remain the same. So February becomes F E B R U A R Y. February. The next month is March. March is spelled as M A R C H. <coughs> I'm sorry, excuse my cold, please. The fourth month of the year is April. April is spelled as A P R I L. April. Rill. Now you can break April down into two parts. Ap and Rill. So Ap and Ril. April. The next month is the month with the shortest spelling. And it's May. And the spelling of May is M-A-Y. May. The next month is June. June is a month of summer holidays. I love June because I always get to go to my nani house and eat lots of mangoes. I want you to tell me why if you do if you like summer vacations or you don't like summer vacations and if you don't like summer vacations then why don't you like that? June is spelled as J U N E June the next month is July. July is spelled as J U L Y. July. The next month is the month of Independence Day. That's August. We can break August also down into two parts. Og and Ust. Og is spelled as A U G. And Ust is U. S T. So August becomes A U G U S T. The next month is September, the month of exams. September can be broken down into three parts again. Sep Tem Bo. Sep is spelled as S E P. Sep Tem is spelled as T E. M and bird is spelled as B E R. Sep tem bo. September. Now, trick for September, October, November, and December is that the last four, last three letters of all of these, all four of these months are the same. And that's B E R. The last three letters of all four of the months are the same. And those are B E R. Now, October is spelled as Octo and B. Now, you know the B E R is the same for the last four months. So, October becomes O C T O B E R. O C T O B E R. October. Then we have November. November can also be broken down into three parts. Nov, M, B. Now, you know the words B, E, R are the same. So, you just need to know how to know, spell Nov and M. November becomes N, O, V, E, M, B, E, R. N, O, V, E, M, B, E, R. And that brings us to the last month of the year, the month of Christmas and holidays and so much happiness, and that's December. December can also be broken down into three parts. December. D 
E C E M B E R D E C E M B E R that's december and that brings us to the end of this video i hope you've been practicing really hard because the date of your olympiad is coming up very soon and you don't have that much time so i hope you're practicing and i want you to watch this video at least once every day practice all of these words and know your spellings by heart but most importantly i want you to have fun while learning and i want you to look forward to it and enjoy it as much as you can so happy learning i hope you have a great week and all the best for your olympiad